welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mandy Kate, and I just got a request from one of my subscribers, Lindsay. So shout out to Lindsay, do a video about my Apple Watch. So here we are. If you guys have any video ideas, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. That was so formal. <laughs> I usually do take your suggestions because I love making content that you guys want to see. So my Apple Watch I got about I want to say three years ago. Um, so this is the Apple Watch Series Three, and it is the Nike. I think it's called Nike Plus edition. Um, so this is what it looks like. So this is what it looked like. I will show you guys what it looks like now because I changed it out. But it is the 38 millimeter and the space gray color. And it came with this band. So this is the Nike Sport Loop and the color is Midnight Fog. So I changed this out because I really did not like it. This is not my style at all. Um, but it is, I guess, very comfortable if you're, you know, a like sports person and you're working out with it um so that is what it's made for but i actually won my apple watch um so i did not get to choose what it looked like so this band was not i didn't like it and the color of the apple watch is a space gray which it's it was nice um but i changed out the actual band so i had like a light pink silicone band and i also had a black silicone band and a dark gray one that matched the space gray color but i had a reaction to it so i'm not sure if it was because there was latex in it because i am allergic to latex so i'm not sure what that was all about but i was like okay i can't have this it's itchy i can't even wear my apple watch um and i didn't really love wearing it because i didn't like what it looked like but i loved all the features of it so I decided to go on Amazon and see what I could find. So I will show you guys the bands. I'll show you guys a close up as well, like the different features and stuff in the next few minutes, but I'll show you guys just so you can see. So this is my Apple Watch. So it is now like a rose gold color. So that is the band. This is what it looks like. It is a little bit scratched, um, but it's just like a cheap Amazon band. So I will link it down below if you guys are interested. I actually have a lot of questions on this um, because it is so pretty. And I love that the band is small here. So it's not, it's kind of like, I don't know, like a little bit classy, a little bit fancy. Like you could wear this to a nice restaurant and it still looks like a nice, like classy watch. So it's just a magnet. So you just put your wrist through it. And this is just a magnet so that is my apple watch and it usually matches most of my jewelry so this is rose gold here i got rose gold earrings on so it matches pretty well and the features that i love the most on this is that i can answer text and phone call right from my watch so my watch is the one that comes with the um it's like the gps cellular but i think you have to set it up or you have to pay i'm not sure don't take my word for it i have no idea what i'm talking about but i never set it up so if i go too far from my phone it's not going to work so if my phone is in my room let's say and i get a phone call while i'm at the mailbox across the street it's not gonna it's not gonna register so there is like a range around my phone that i can go and at the top of my apple watch it will give me like it looks like a little icon of a red iphone so that means that there's like the iphone is not in range so it doesn't always work if i'm too far from it but there is certain apple watches that you can set it up on it i'm not sure how <laughs> um but yeah so that is one of my favorite features so if my phone is you know around me i can answer um i can answer text i can also set the notifications that i want so i set up that i would get instagram on there so i can quickly see the messages or comments i've also set up facebook messenger um what else have i set up i've set up i used to have snapchat but it would be too annoying because snapchat sends you two notifications when you get a message so it'll send it when the person is writing and when the person response so that was like too annoying for me and i have a few apps that give me notification like my flow app so you can choose the notifications that you get so that's really really useful because it is on your wrist so it gets sometimes it does get annoying after a while there's a really really cool feature that when you're let's say you're driving or you're using your maps app on your phone 
it does also show it on your watch so if i'm driving and the gps is telling me to turn left let's say it'll vibrate a certain amount of times and if i look there'll be like a big left arrow and it'll say like 100 meters so it's very very useful if you're using your gps especially because we're not allowed here in canada or in my province anyway to look at our phone while we're driving or to hold it so I have it like it projects into my car so I have a screen in my car so I can see it but it's really good if like someone else is driving and I'm using my GPS it'll still tell me so I don't know I found that very useful so the question I got when I got requested to make this video is like if it is useful to have an Apple watch if it's worth the investment because they are expensive firstly I had a Fitbit that I had bought myself before getting the Apple watch I did not I was not gonna buy an Apple watch because of the price point I just thought that I could do everything with my Fitbit that I can do with my Apple watch which is still a little bit true so I actually sold my Fitbit when I got my Apple watch but um, my Fitbit could track my calories based on the like in the Fitbit app so I would enter my food um, intake and it would count my calories and it would also track my sleep and all these different things the Apple watch you have to get different apps to do that so it's not just like ingrained in the Apple watch if that makes sense so I have a pillow app I'll show you guys the apps that I use on it but um, my pillow app if I were to sleep it does track my sleep um, the Fitbit would do that automatically and if I want to count my calories I um, in the past have used a life sum I don't count my calories anymore but um, I had to download that and then activate it with my like sync it with my Apple watch so there is some differences about that um, but if you are looking for something that obviously looks really nice looks fancy when people see this they know it's an Apple watch it's kind of like having like a rose gold iPhone people know what it is so if you're out for like the look but also all of those health features so it counts your steps um, you can obviously track your sleep you can track you know so many different things and you get notifications on here so if you're gonna use it for those purposes I personally think it is worth it if you can afford it so i know the price point is a little bit what i'm saying is long story short there are some options that give you the same um features that the apple watch does but in a cheaper price point so if you don't really care like what it looks like like fitbits are not in my opinion as cute um just because i like flashy fancy things <laughs> but they do the same features so i don't know personally it's like it's a it's a personal choice. I really like it. I'm grateful that I won it. I use it every single day. So my personal opinion is I love my Apple Watch. If you guys want to see the apps that I use on it, then keep on watching. So this is my Apple Watch. It is a little bit scratched um, in here as well. We're going to ignore my fading tan. <laughs> kind of just like a silicone cover. So it just goes around the Apple Watch. It's super, super easy. This clips right into it. So this is just a magnet, as you guys can see. So you can loosen it, and then when you tighten it, just tighten and bring it back. I do wear my Apple Watch every day. I actually just put it on now though, so I haven't done activity yet. I haven't gone for a walk. Gucci and I are gonna go shortly. So here I always put it so I can see how many calories I've burned, how many minutes of exercise I've done, and the hour. So this one is the hour standing, so I just kept it like what it was default wise. So the Apple Watch has a 12 hour standing. Um, it's like a goal. So it's like out of the 12 hours of the day, it's like how many times that you stand. So, so far it's two, but I just put it on. So, um, and then if you swipe down, you have your notifications. And then if you swipe up, you have the like toolbar. Um, but you can do basically anything. This is like a water repulsion um, button. So that's really, really cool. So if you get like a bit of water in it, you just press this and then it'll squeeze out all the water out of like the little like extremities, like the little holes where it could go. <laughs> um, and then you'd have no more water and it. it's really cool. So it's not like a waterproof, but it's a water repellent, water like safe or whatever it's called and then if you click on different options here so this is my activity obviously i just told you guys i haven't really done anything today but um so that's the activity so if you click at the bottom that is my calendar so you guys can see i'm doing my tan tonight so just different things like that that you can access and then you can click on the side and it goes into your apps and usually it comes in like all the apps are like in a big circle together but i didn't like that layout they were hard for me to find you kind of have to scroll through so these i put as a list view so you just change that on the apple watch app 
Um, and then they automatically go in alphabetical order, which is really, really nice because it's super easy to find. So you just keep going like this until you find the app you like, obviously. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. I'm not sure if this was helpful. I was just asked my personal opinion, so I am sharing it with you guys. If you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. And if you want to keep up with me, my socials are linked down below. My Instagram is at brunette princess, and I have a million discount codes in my description box if you're trying to save money or make money while shopping. Don't forget to check those out, and as always, I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!